What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today with a very exciting Samsung video for you guys. It's an exciting time to be a Samsung fan. Samsung just announced the Samsung Unpacked event for July 26th. If you guys want to check out the giveaway we're doing right now for Unpacked, check out the link in the description for that. Uh, today we're going to get into an update on a Samsung app that's very, very useful. It's probably something you haven't enabled on your Samsung phone. So you want to check that out. I'll show you guys how to enable it, how to use it. Before we get started, I want to thank my son, Jonathan, for giving me a Parasololophus to hang out with us. He always gives us a dinosaur for the video. And I also want to remind you guys about my partners over at Mint Mobile. They are having one of their biggest deals of the year, unlimited premium wireless, just $15 a month right now. This is a limited time. Uh, it is going to end at some point. I don't know when, but it's definitely going to end. So you want to take advantage of this if you have not yet. Now, my partners at Mint Mobile, they do have a variety of different plans that have different data sizes, but right now all the plans have gone to $15 a month. They have a five gig plan, 15, 20, and unlimited, but obviously because of that great deal right now, you're going to want to take advantage of that unlimited plan, which is 50% off the usual price. All their plans come with limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. I've been using them now for about nine months in the Phoenix, Arizona area. I've had fantastic service here. I absolutely love the attention to detail that Mint has and they're always trying to give more value to their customers, which is something I absolutely love. If you guys haven't tried them yet, you can take advantage of this deal today by going to my link, which is mintmobile.com slash springer. It's also in the pinned comment description as well. If you guys sign up today, in addition to this great deal, you'll also get a free smartphone case from me of your choice, like the beautiful forest green Kadabe sheet that I have in today's video. It can be for any phone as well as any case manufacturer you want. It does not have to be Samsung. You guys can take advantage of this by signing up at mintmobile.com slash springer for any three-month Mint Mobile plan. Get in touch with me via Twitter DM or email, and I will ship out that free case. I'm doing that as a personal thank you for you guys trying Mint, and we do appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into it today. There was a nice update to Samsung's Bixby Vision application, and uh, for those of you guys who don't know about Bixby Vision, first of all, Bixby Vision and Bixby are kind of two separate things in that Bixby is usually thought of as the voice assistant on the Samsung phones. Bixby Vision basically uses AI to recognize objects um, that you point the camera viewfinder at, and it can do some pretty nifty things. I'll actually show you a couple of features, but it did receive an update that actually improves some of those features, so I wanted to talk about it. This update actually came out about a week ago, but it just got pushed to my phone recently. That's kind of how it goes with these Samsung stage rollouts. Not much you can do about it, and that's how it happens for everybody. This is version 3.7.81.5. June 28th, 2023, 25.75 megabytes. And up here it says what's new, that they have in, uh, the performance of the scene describer in accessibility mode has been improved and it fixed bugs and optimized performance to improve usability. So if you don't know about Bixby Vision, I'll go ahead and open it really quickly. Um, it basically has some very basic options at the bottom, which will let you translate some text. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it'll basically let you copy some text. So for instance here, let me take my field notes notebook over here and uh, do this right here. You can see that it'll find the text and then I can just tap it to copy and paste the text. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, obviously you can do the same thing with the translate feature once you get it to work. Uh, discover, which means you could basically find pictures similar to this online. Obviously it doesn't find exactly my field notes notebook, but uh, if I point it at the Parasitololophus dinosaur over here, let's check it out. Let's try this. Uh, it'll try to find this online, and you can see it does do a pretty good job of finding similar objects. Um, not this exact one, but it finds a bunch of other toy dinosaurs. Um, there's also another cool ob um, one that I don't really use too much, but if you are a wine connoisseur, you like to drink wine, um, you can point this at a particular wine or a bottle of wine. I'll try to find more information about it. I did test it when the feature first came out like five years ago. I actually have a video on my YouTube channel, I think, of me testing this. It does work, but just like the Discover feature, it is not perfect. Um, up here, you've got a couple options. If you tap on this, you can actually uh, select an item to kind of look for um, what's going on. You can kind of use Bixby Vision in that particular item. And then up here, you'll find tips and settings. And so, of course, today, since we're talking about the update, there's been an improvement to one of the features and one of those features is the accessibility mode. So all of here are the basic options, which you can also turn off if you don't want some of them. But up here in accessibility modes, if you turn this on, there are basically four additional uh, options that you can have. I don't know why it crashed there, but um, 
Anyway, this is the accessibility mode. It adds it here. I think it maybe it had to relaunch because I turned it off and back on during this video. Here are the four different things you have. Scene describer, object identifier, text reader, and color detector. So obviously, text reader does something very obvious once again with the field notes right here. You can point it and then it will capture this. It'll analyze it. You see there, it'll do scene describer. So that's scene describer. Uh, then you've got object item vendor and text reader. So up here, let's go to text reader. 9,886. So you can see it's trying to interpret some of the pictures as text. So it's not perfect, but it does supposed to read text exactly. It's trying to interpret some of the pictures as text, uh, which is kind of interesting. And then object identifier. So let's put the... Uh, Let's put the dinosaur here. Stuffed toy. It says it's a stuffed toy, electric which is razor. not quite. It thinks it thinks that my case is an electric razor. Uh, let's try my wallet. Let's see what it can do there. Cell phone case. Uh, it thinks this is a cell phone case, but I didn't point it at the whole thing. Let's see my Samsung remote. Remote control. There we go. It got the remote control. So basically, what this was supposed to do in this update was improve the scene describer which it does seem to be a little better at the scene describer. Uh, let me point it at something else. Let me point it at my Bluetooth, back part of my desk where I have my Bluetooth speaker back there. Let's try that, see Analyzing what it says. Scene. A group of cell phones on a desk. <laughs> I've got a bunch of phones and a case there. So I guess it does a pretty good job. It's supposed to uh, basically improve some of these features. And then of course you've got color detector. It can detect certain colors. But that's not, not quite black. Oh, the dinosaur is gray. Okay, here's light gray. White. It thinks this is white. White. Yellow back here with the microfiber. So uh, it's, it's not perfect, but uh, they've improved some of these. Obviously, this is very useful if you need the accessibility features. But the scene describer could also be useful if you wanted to describe something, copy and paste that for social media purposes. There's a lot of other ways to use it. Um, and it is overall a useful feature. I like Bixby Vision as a whole and they have improved some things. There are some other things inside the options up here where you can actually show Bixby Vision on the app screen, show the capture button up here. So these won't be um, done until you actually do a capture. And then of course, privacy notice and stuff about how they store your data. So overall, a pretty nice little update, especially if it's something uh, for the vision and hearing impaired, obviously that can be useful. Always can be improved more, but they've definitely added some improvements, particularly to the scene optimizer, which is what they were claiming in this video. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. A lot of other stuff coming up. One UI 6.0 beta, the foldable launch, which like I said, check out the giveaway below for that. And also a reminder, check out my partners at Mint Mobile, mintmobile.com slash Springer. You can get a free smartphone case sent by me of your choice if you sign up for a three-month Mint Mobile plan. Lots of you guys are taking advantage of that. I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.